So yesterday you guys saw the video of us with a seed drill drilling down this alfalfa alpha and oats out here. This is the exact same field. All we're doing now is I have the harrow in the back of this tractor. See back there? And Travis is still drilling. It's the same day, just um, I had to wait for him to get far enough along that I could start harrowing. So here's the harrow. I know the window isn't clean. I haven't had a chance to clean it. So basically what our goal here is we just want to level out the ground as much as we possibly can because when you come through with the hay bind, you don't want to have these ridges or you just want it to be as smooth, smooth, as, smooth as possible so that your hay bind doesn't hit any tracks of dirt. So we're coming along harrowing. By harrowing, you're also covering up some of the alfalfa seeds as well that were just dropped along the top of the ground. So a good habit to get into is to shift up and slow down the engine because there's not any real anything pulling on the tractor real hard. This thing hardly pulls at all. There's only four sections of arrows on here. So it's pretty easy going. You should be able to start seeing the difference over what I haven't gone over yet. Now since we're out here harrowing, now wheel slip can be a big problem and a lot of farmers have different methods to try to curb wheel slip and they try to fight it off with things like radial tires and wheel weights and then you know like putting fluid in the tires and whatnot. So uh, we got the GPS mounted in the tractor here and it's bouncing around saying we're doing 5.2. 5.4, 5.7. It's just bounced around overall. Now looking at that, and then looking at what the tractor's saying, the tractor's saying between 5.6 and 5.7. Well, the GPS is saying between 5.6 and 5.7. And the tractor's saying between 5.9 and 6. So that difference is what we refer to as wheel slip. Now if you want to calculate out how much wheel slip you're getting, you can use a GPS such as this, or if you have a radar you can use one of those too. So I'm just going to get out my handy dandy flip phone because I'm so awesome. Only the cool kids have flip phones by the way. So what was I saying before? The tractor was saying 6 and the radar or the GPS is saying 5.6. So I'm going to take 5.6 and divide that by 6 and that gives me a percentage 93% that's how much effectiveness the wheels are getting us somewhere so we are we have 93% tra traction essentially now what you can do is turn on four-wheel drive and that will usually narrow so we're getting about 93% traction that's about 7% wheel slip I don't know whether that's good or bad I really don't keep track of wheel slip enough to tell you whether that's good or bad get out the flip phone now it's saying GPS is saying 5.7 5.8 and the tractor's saying 5.9, which is good because that means we're getting more traction. Now, excuse me while I turn around. Hello, you. I'm a multitasker. Okay. So, as I was saying, 5.8 and 6 and 6.1. Saying 6.1 because we're going downhill. So. We take out the flip phone, type in 5.8 divided by 6, and we get 96%. So we gain another 3% traction just by turning on the four-wheel drive, which is nice. And another thing you can do to help with your traction is to put duals on, which we do. A lot of people 
a lot of my newer subscribers have been asking why we put duals on our tractors and that is why because we want to minimize wheel slip as much as possible because if you're only getting seven percent or if you're getting seven percent wheel slip when you could be only getting four three four percent you're using three percent more fuel three percent more time and that that can really add up so that's why farmers really want to minimize their wheel slip so uh, i hope you guys learned something from that little demonstration thanks for watching be sure to subscribe and go to my facebook page and be sure to rate me on there as well give me five stars or one star whatever you think of me i really don't have a preference just as long as you guys go and rate me so thanks for watching guys be sure to check out my other videos see you next time